February 27th, 2010. My voice is still not back, but it's getting better. Still, Rachel's going to join us on a song, Dream a Little Dream of Me, Mama Cass. Mama Cass. Great song. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Let's try that again. Shining bright above you, night breezes seem to whisper, I love you. Birds singing in the sycamore tree, dream a little dream of me. Say nighty night and kiss me, just hold me tight and tell me you. While I'm alone and blue as can be, dream a little dream of me. Stars fading, but I linger on, dear, still craving your kiss. I'm longing to linger till dawn, dear, just saying. Dreams till sunbeams find you. Sweet dreams that leave all worries behind you. But in your dreams, whatever they be, dream a little dream of me. She did not choke on a ham sandwich, as has grown the big fable and everything. It was from a uh, heart attack, from what I remember reading. I believe it was from like a where they suspected it might be drug related or something. But that's right. So you shouldn't just assume because she's a big girl that she dies. They found a eaten. partially eaten ham sandwich, but it had nothing to do with the actual with her actual death. Yeah. So. And Glenn's over here looking for his Mama Cass album that he recently Yes, well, semi-recently. Recently. I got it from my... Semi-recently scored. Yeah, that's Mama Cass Elliot, Make Your Own Kind of Music, and it's getting better. And essentially the exact same album without the song Make Your Own Kind of Music on it is um, Bubblegum, Lemonade, and uh, Something for Mama. One of my favorites. For sure. So she's awesome. And they're essentially exactly the same album was awesome. Both of those were the same album. The only difference is that the Make Your Own Kind of Music came out later. Yeah. I'm sitting here alone on the shot. He's trying to put the vinyl back Trying to put them back the, in their protective sleeves that I actually have <laughs> for these ones. But they're, they're the exact same album. The only difference is that the Make Your Own Kind of Music one came out later, and so they added the song Make Your Own Kind of Music to it. And there you go. So it was good. Yeah. It was fun. I'm 
bun's not feeling so hot, so no. we're taking it easy tonight. We are. But had to get our song in. Indeed. I'm glad we did. I'm glad we chose that one. I've wanted to... I've never actually sat down and learned that. One of the tricky chords... There was a chord in there that I'm quite confident that I've never used before because I don't think I would have been able to play it before. And it's like this... Toughy. It's Well, for me, it was tough. It was like this reverse-style chord that I've never utilized before. And uh, let me grab... I'll grab the guitar here again. It's quite just a bit out of reach there. Oh, let's just smack the guitar on there. That's beautiful. This is why Glenn's the Gerald Ford of rock and roll. Yes, that's what she calls me. It's this one here. I'd never utilized this chord. Now watch how the hand stretches around. <laughs> but uh, for those keeping tra uh, track at home, the tab on that is six, four, five, four, five. Six, four, five, four, five. If you, oh, well. Don't count the X. It's X six four five four five. So don't hit the E string, but then it's six four five four five. For me, that was weird. I mean, I've done like the minor seventh chords, but to throw that in there. Some of the picking at the beginning reminded me of Blackbird by the Beatles, which we've done yes. together. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> That's a fun new chord for me. <laughs> right. So it was a good day and beautiful out. And the moon was out. You love that. The moon is beautiful tonight. Really Where beautiful. Where we are. Mm -hmm. You can put your thumb up to it. Dear John. <laughs> <laughs> That's, I wish I'd been there for that. She went and saw that movie, jerk. Dear John. And you're normally not so cantankerous in movie theaters, but that was one of the things was watching that film. You weren't. What, what was your opinion of it? It was. Okay, I never read the book or anything. I mean, it was it was a girly movie. It wasn't terrible or anything. It was the, just a love story. The moon shows up. For those of you that have seen it or at least seen the promos, there's a part in there where it says the moon's never bigger than your thumb wherever you are. And, and so they have the, this big shot of, of the, the moon near the, the end. end. So what and I'm do? sitting there in the movie theater and I put my thumb up there and the girlfriends I was with were just cracking up laughing and then there's a scene where he's having a real conniption at the end and he is smacking his steering wheel as hard as he can and suddenly his windshield wipers come on and it just cracked me up and I just burst out laughing and I got so many dirty looks in the theater it was ridiculous. You were that girl. I was. I wasn't That's being a total jerk. Those were the only two things I did. It was just to <laughs> amuse myself and my friends but still. Looking back on it funny. All right. Mm -hmm. Uh, that's probably about enough for now. I know they're yeah. not watching anymore anyway. No. But, yeah. This is the rambling part. Yeah. All right, y'all. You'll love to hate it. Until next time. <laughs> Thanks.